Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to be plasti dipping my spare tire. It's a chrome wheel. And I'm going to be plasti dipping, or plas plasti dipping? I'm, go I'm going to be plasti dipping it copper. Um, my Jetta is gray, and I think copper would look great on it, but I want to try it on my spare to see how it goes. Um, I've never dipped anything before in my life. Never, I mean, the most I've done was spray painted my wheels on my truck, but I mean, that was just like a cheap spray paint. So, I'm gonna take you along and see how it goes. Um, I'm using Dip Your Car Spray. I don't remember the code, but I'll, uh, I'll link it in the description. And this is what it currently looks like. So I just opened the box. All right, so it came with this, um, like, pre-dip, so came with a plastic bag, um, the rag, and then the, the actual plastic dip. Um, this is gonna be probably a multi-day thing for me. So, um, it's only supposed to take a couple hours. It's supposed to take a couple hours, but I am I just don't have the time to dedicate to it. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit here and there. So, this is the like pre-dip that I'm spraying. It's like a cleaner, I guess. Um, I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit on the tire, because apparently you're supposed to just be able to peel it off. Once you get done, you just kind of clean off all of the excess, and then it has the stuff that you put on the actual tire, and that to, that keeps it from sticking to the reel. And you just get some on the corner of a rag, like this, and you just wipe it on the tire. Just go all the way around, make sure to get in the bead, and try to go all the way around, you know, try to- I let it clean. There were a few do's and don'ts. It said, don't lay it down. I was just gonna lay it down, so that way all the drips would just go down. I'm gonna try to do it standing up. Light coat first, and then let that dry, and then you do heavy coats. All right, so this is after 20 minutes. Um, first coat uh, doesn't look great, but I'm gonna do another coat. I think it's gonna take like four or five coats. Um, I'm gonna try to lay it down and just see how it does, see if it's easier to go on like that. All right, so I just did two coats, and <clears throat> so far I'm not impressed. It looks like it, I don't know why it's bubbling like that. Um, if you can think of anything, you know, let me know in the comments, but yeah, I'm gonna let it sit for another probably 20, 30 minutes and see what it does. So this is coat number three or four. Um, I don't know if it's like I'm putting it on too thick or what, but like it's so like runny right here. Like it's just, you know, it's just bad. Um, I mean, I'm gonna keep trying to work with it. I'm gonna let it dry for probably 30 minutes and see what it does. Good thing is, is you can always just, you know, take it off. Well, that's what it would look like, but I figured it out. I was holding the paint too close. So now I have to peel it all off and start over. Um, but good thing is it's pretty easy to peel and uh, it's super satisfying to peel. So this will be fun. Like I said earlier, it'll be a few day process, but. I feel like gold member in Austin Powers and everybody's peeling off skin. But the good news is, at least this Plasti Dip is something that you can screw up. Oh, that's a good one. Screw up and then peel it off. So I'm peeling it off and I'm gonna try it again tomorrow. All right, so I took the tire to work, pressure washed it, and I'm gonna start over today.
All right, so as you can probably tell, this looks a lot better in the sun and a lot better than it did yesterday. Um, so figured it out. I was holding the can way too close and I was holding it like, probably like right here. It needs to be like back here. It needs to be like a foot to 15 inches away. Oh, it also says to do like three or four light coats and then six to eight really heavy coats. So I'm gonna start doing heavy coats now. We'll see how it goes. All right, so um, overall, it turned out really good. Um, I didn't use the tire cleaner today at work um, just because I know it was my spare I just wanted to really focus on the wheel um, but yeah I mean overall I would highly recommend it so I literally was wheeling it out to my car and dropped it and that's what it happened um, I mean Good thing it's a spare, right? Oh well. Live and learn. Well, that being said, um, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Uh, any feedback would help. And, um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. Let me know if you have any other recommendations. Um, yeah, thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.